Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and below is my web homepage where you can access details about me. Now some of you might be wondering why I always say these lines uh, but the point here is the reason behind why I always say these lines is because simply I have started my video series from the basic C programming, C++, then the Python and you might feel that your feedback, your valuable suggestion, your guidance to me was really, really marvelous. I have upgraded my quality to a lot more level. Uh, you can simply see if you are a regular student of my From the C course that I have upgraded my quality and way of teaching, talking to you and my video quality as well. Uh, the content was always uh, really depends on you actually, what you actually tell, what are the things that interest you, that makes you interest is always with your feedback. So really it's the most precious thing to me and really I expect that you can actually forward a feedback to me at my email ID that is hitesh at the rate hiteshchaudhary.com. So with that let's move ahead with the next chapter that we have got here for you. And what I've got for here is a very good lesson. First of all let me do a quick ls. Uh, I'm on the desktop. I should have been on the desktop. And here is our lesson 4.zip file. First of all, as always, I'm going to move the lesson zip to slash war slash www and not like I'm going to mistake again transferring. I'll again transfer it to www. I'll not do that. I'll directly transfer it to the slash master to save a bit of time for us. Okay, let me again travel to slash war www master. Do a quick ls. Yes, lesson 4 file is here. I would like to unzip this content by giving this command. I hope it is quite visible to all of you. Image file and index. That's the only two file. Image file is to just make things annoying around here and there is the index file. Uh, index file just to have our codes running out. So what I can do, I can simply do a lesson, uh, lesson 4. If I do that, here again we have got annoying image of something. I don't know really what is happening around here, but really annoying one. So if I put a question mark ID equals to one here, what my challenge here is to break the query, join the query and run all the commands in between. So if I do a single quote out here, oops, nothing happens. Hint is error based double quotes string. Now that might be very helpful for all of you. But really, if I do a single quote, that doesn't give me my favorite, you have an SQL syntax error. But this doesn't really imply that the application is secure. This doesn't say anywhere like this. And it is also not saying that the website or the web application is vulnerable to any SQL threats. So what you can do in this case, and from upcoming chapters, I really want to focus on those chapters and those things which doesn't are really good in the errors. So in last of a few cases, what we have gone through is the error is quite uh, visible on the page screen and we were able to inject. In this case, the things are pretty different. But this is quite a simple one. What you can do, you can simply put a backslash here and can get an error that says a double quote and a bracket. Whoa, that was the thing in this case. So what I can do, I can put a double quote and in this case, yes, I have break the query. What I can do here is I can fix it by applying a hyphen, hyphen and a plus sign. But this query is going to fix it. Is it that the question? Yes, it is not going to fix it because the breaking string is actually double quotes and a bracket. So I have to apply that and that is going to fix things for us. Again, you can do a union all select, but you have to follow the process. in case you want to master that. So the things are in front of you and that's the only typical part in this case. Rest of all, if you followed up with me each and every lesson, you can find out the database name, you can find out the tables name and quite others as well. So I expect that little much from your side. So with this a small and a sweet video for all of you and from the lesson onwards in the next case, we are going to first of all learn a few more commands and friendly with the SQL scenario and then we will learn some massive SQL injection again. So, series is going to be quite in depth and see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.